Hey guys, today I'm going to be building a really simple yet beautiful bench. Now with this project, I wanted to focus on something that's a little more simple to build. This will take me about an hour and a half to build and I'm trying to keep the tools that I use on this very simple so that hopefully almost any shop will have these tools that I'm going to use today. A circular saw, a square, um, other than that I'll need a drill, some wood glue, and that's about it. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Stick around and see how I build this and I'll show you guys what I've got. Now to start, I'm gonna be using this two x 12 for the top of the bench as well as the legs. Now I'm gonna use a square, clamp that down onto the board and that will give me a guide to run the circular saw across. This gives me a perfectly square cut across and sometimes 2x12s are hard to cut unless you have a sliding chop saw so this really is a nice easy way to make sure you're making an accurate square cut across the 2x12. So I've got two perfectly square cuts for the bench top. Now I need to cut out the legs. So I'll repeat those steps of clamping the square down in place, cutting it with the circular saw, moving the clamp and cutting the second leg as well. All right, so I have both of the legs cut out. This next step is more for aesthetics. You don't have to do this if you don't want to, but I'm gonna cut off a, a wedge off of these legs so that it widens towards the base. So up at the top, it's an inch and a half off, and down at the base, it goes to nothing. So as it gets down to the bottom, it'll look wider. It adds a little bit more of a natural feel to the bench instead of just a block of wood on either end holding it up. Next, I'll be taking a two by six and I'm gonna be cutting 45 degree angles on this using my speed square again as a guide. Really easy to do this, get it in the right place, clamp it down and cut. This will be the braces on the legs, attaching it to the bench top, keeping it from wobbling side to side. Just really adds a ton of strength. Then next, I'm gonna be cutting a two by six to go across from one leg to the other, just ensuring even more strength and keeping it from wobbling at all. All right, so I have all the pieces cut out, ready to assemble. First, I need to round over the corners on these boards. This makes it look a whole lot nicer than just regular two by sixes and two by 12s. And I will route every edge that is not gonna be a joint. Now, this is also a preference. So if you don't wanna do this or don't have a router, that's totally fine. You can just sand it down by hand or round over the edges, however you want to. This is just what I've got, a hand router, and it works pretty well. So I'm gonna use that and get this all rounded over and then I can start assembling the bench.
All right, guys, now it's time to put the bench together. I'm gonna to take some wood glue and put a nice thick coat on each joint that I'm putting together. I'll take a countersink bit with my drill, drill a couple holes for the screws to go into, and then once those holes are done with the screws in them, it will still leave a hole, so I'll show you guys how I fill that after. Now to fill the holes that are left behind from countersinking the screws, I'm going to take a little bit of wood glue and put some in each hole and then I'll take my wood plugs and hammer them into the hole till they're tight. Now I'll sand that all down and you'll notice that those plugs are much darker wood than the pine that I'm using. I like that to stand out a little bit more and show where the screws have been and show those plugs off a little bit. Now I wanted to take a second and point out the link up in the top right corner. If you like this video, I got a ton more that you can watch. Go check that out. I've picked out a few that I think you guys would like and I have that in the link up in the top right corner. Now to finish off the bench, I'm gonna take my belt sander and sand this down. Again, you don't have to have a belt sander. You could use a pad sander, um, orbital sander, or just do it by hand. This is a little bit faster, so I'm gonna carefully do this so I don't make any marks or gouges in the wood. And I'll clean this up and then it should be all finished. If you did like this video, hit that like button down below. That helps me out a ton and it helps YouTube know that this is a good video and will share with other people as well. Watch out. All right, guys, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you have not already. Also, hit that bell icon if you want YouTube to let you know when I upload a new video. And hit that like button if you want to let me know you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks, guys. I'll see you in the next one.